Hello friends, we are all in pain together because we are continuing our run of uh, Oxygen Not Included where we do all kinds of silly stuff and we put ourselves through some torture just for the entertainment of it. So the actual rules are here. Uh, we are not allowed to reselect our duplicates. Uh, we have to play on the hardest difficulty. We have to play on the hardest asteroid. We are playing with all kinds of other restrictions here. We need to get every single achievement. And most of what this video is going to be about is getting that carnivore achievement. So let's take a look at our progress on that. And by that I mean we have made almost no progress on it. So we're going to have to rush this out pretty quickly. Uh, so we need to eat 400,000 kilo or calories of meat in 30 cycles. Um, this is doable, but it's going to be very tight. So we're going to have to find a way to do this. And if we don't, then we're going to restart. I really don't want to have to do that but we might have to. So what I really need to do to make sure that we're staying on top of this is while we chat, uh, we definitely need to keep the micro going on this. One thing that somebody recommended that would be a good idea is the next duplicate that comes up here, I'm just gonna trap them in this room until everything has been lullabied so that the micro is a little bit easier. So, Jean, you are now the person who is stuck in here. I'm gonna try this method out, not let Jean leave at all. Oh, Bubbles is still not allowed through that door. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, let's try this. This was a recommendation for a micro trick here, just to see if this is going to help. So I'm just going to trap Jean in this room for the time being, and he's going to have to stay there until it's either time for him to go on break, or he has done all of the tasks that I need him to do. And that'll hopefully simplify the micro a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, um... Another question that I've gotten a lot is why do I not just automate this? And it's because I just don't have the... Oh, pff, he can't even get up to this second level. Okay, well, that didn't really work. <laughs> uh, if I had built this room better, this would have been a better idea. But I guess it's not the greatest. Uh, so yeah. Um, the... I don't remember what I was talking about. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we're just going to try to keep somebody here to uh, keep the eggs spinning as much as possible and at least we're at the point where we don't have any more room for any pips so any more pips that are hatched are going to be turned immediately into food and that at least makes some of this a little bit easier speaking of which get out of here food get attacked if i do find any eggs this one's also at 100 percent if i find any eggs that um are not going to benefit from being lullabied again I will start moving them somewhere to a point that we can, like, auto-drown them um, instead of having to come in here and attack each one of them because any little task that I get... This cuddle pip really wants attention. Any little task that I get um, will... Will you turn left? Yes, okay. Uh, will need duplicate time and attention, so if I can automate any part of it, that would be ideal. But the problem with any automation especially for this area, is like, I can't really afford to refine the metal and do everything that needs to be done in order to automate this in any better way. So that's kind of the part of the challenge of this, is making sure that uh, we're keeping the plates spinning, but I have to do a lot of it manually because I just frankly don't have the time, uh, duplicate time or otherwise, to get this automated in a way that is going to be more performant than having to manage it all myself. Um, the other concern that I have is when these are connected, they have a lot of power draw. So if I ever have more than one on at a time, I'm going to need duplicates running on these. Plus, it could overload my circuits with how many other things I have up right now. You can even see there's some damage taken on some of the circuits because I've had too much electricity running on some of the wires. But I just don't have the bandwidth to deal with that right now. So it's just going to be a problem we're going to have to live with for uh, the time being. So yeah, uh, definitely wanted to mention some stuff about that, but this is going to be entirely about getting those, or getting that carnivore achievement, because uh, if we don't, then we lose. So we'll kind of just keep up on the micro here. There's not a whole lot else that's going on in the base or a lot that we're going to need to focus on in the meantime. Um, one thing I'm a little bit worried about is water. Uh, we are all running, already running pretty low. We do have some stored up here in the form of polluted water, but, uh, yeah, that's going to start being more and more of a concern over time. Oh, great. All my outhouses are full. 
That's wonderful. Well, I guess we'll get this fixed. Okay, a little bit of a rocky start here, but let's just go ahead and push forward into this carnivore achievement a little bit. We'll talk about some other interesting comments and conversations that have come up as well. Uh, but yeah, let's advance forward at least a little bit because we need to figure out within the scope of this video whether this is going to be a viable run or not. So let's go get it. Okay, we apparently got another achievement. Let's take a look at what it is. It is... Outdoor Renovations. Construct a building outside the initial starting biome. I don't know why that counted. I must be one of these walls because I don't know where it technically defines the outer biome starting. But as you can see, we have not left this biome, which is one of our restrictions. So I guess arbitrarily one of these tiles must have counted as that. I'm The way I'm doing this is I'm not mining into the granite. Um, if I don't go through this granite, then I guess that means that I haven't really left the biome. So that's technically how we're doing it. So I guess we accidentally got an achievement for some reason, but yeah, so yay, an achievement we didn't mean to get. We're so good at this game. Okay, we've captured our last water pit. Uh, this one is particularly just going to be pumped over into a small little space right here that any of the eggs that I find that are close to hatching or like hatch within that day, I'll move over to this area and then these pips will just get stuck in this little square that I'm going to fill up with just enough water to make sure that they drown. So, yeah, this is, uh, for some reason this is a very sad sight, but we're all doing this in the name of efficiency and because the game told us to, so it's not our fault. Look at the water level slowly rise. Yeah, this is, this is cruel and unusual, I have to say. Okay, there we go. So now we have enough in there that they will not be able to survive, so I'm just going to clip the, uh, pipe so that we have this little space right here and this is our automatic meat making machine yeah let's make it sound a little bit nicer than it actually is but that'll save my duplicates just a little bit of time and that'll also assure that the eggs that i'm putting in here are ones that need to be lullabied and not ones that could be uh hatched within that day with the buffs that it already has so yeah that's a little bit of a, an optimization i'm going to be doing here I'm going to try to get every last ounce of optimization out of these so that we can get this achievement. But let's see where we stand as we keep you in peril. Uh, let's check our progress on here. Oh, let me reject these duplicates, by the way. Let's check our progress. Looks like we have a little bit under 10% of the way there, and we've lost about four days. So... We are so far not on pace, but this is when a lot of the production from our extra pips and our extra hatches is going to start kick in, kicking in. So I think we're just barely still on schedule. The only way that we will know that we are behind is if there are more calories to eat than my duplicates can afford to eat within the time that's remaining. So we are not quite there. Um, once you get up to cycle 80 is when you would need to eat it for like 100% of your food with the number of duplicates that I have uh, for the rest of the run. So, or rather up until cycle 100. So we're not quite there, but we are teetering kind of close to it. So we need to be careful. Uh, so yeah, let's get the, our closure from this all uh, sad, terrible scene here and watch our meat production facilities in action. I'm not being as efficient as I could be. There you go, kind of turns it into meat. The nice thing that we can do with these is if I ever need to move an egg there, I can just drop it on top of this pneumatic door and stuff will fall through the pneumatic doors. So that makes it a little bit easier to manage. Um, so I can just kind of poke around and look for eggs in here that are already at a high enough incubation level. Looks like none of them are quite there. The other question is when we're going to stop populating rooms with more hatches. And the numbers that we need to look at is how long it will take a baby hatch to turn into an adult and then lay an egg after that. As far as I know, um, this number is about 10 days. So it's actually a little bit longer than that. So I don't know why I always have a hard time with this math, but it's like six days plus the five it turns into to be an adult. So let's just account for a little bit of a margin of error because it'll only be worthwhile if the egg that they lay can also hatch turning it into another one. 
So if we're ever beyond that point, then that means that we can't uh, keep putting hatches out that are going to help us accomplish this. We just need to start eating them. And that threshold looks like it's about day 80. It's There's probably a little bit more room to work with than that. But just to be safe and just because we're not going to have 100% uptime on this reproduction rate, uh, let's call it day 80 will be about when we max out for all of the hatches that we can continue to keep. So the last little terrarium is right here for hatches. Um, then once we get to cycle 80, every critter that's produced will have to be food. And then we'll just see if we did enough to get there. So yeah, just going to continue to keep microing these. Uh, keep them all as lullabied as I can get. Oh, the other thing that I did, by the way, is I did split up the schedules. Um, people were asking about this, and in a smaller colony, I don't think it makes sense to split up the schedules, but I think we're big enough to the point that if we just have two different schedules running, it'll make more sense because we will have less downtime on these incubators, and we'll have uh, more duplicates available to do that. So I did split up my farmers into two and two, cooks are in one to one, and the builders and... Uh, bubbles are split up as well so there you go uh that was another little optimization that i made so yeah just gonna try to just barely get this out and we're getting close so we'll keep an eye on it and we'll give progress updates as we go okay cycle 80 time for a progress update that means that we will not be using any of our eggs to refill any of the rooms that we have right now so I'm debating just destroying all these critter drop-offs. I still do need to keep all these critters around afterwards because once we get the achievement, our duplicates still need to eat. So I don't want to just come in here and get rid of all the critters. Otherwise, my I'm going to be very reliant on barbecue. And then as soon as the carnivore achievement ends, if I have no critters left to repopulate, then our food situation will be uh, seriously at risk. So that is definitely something that I'm thinking about here. But um, I think we can just go through and disable all these and then my duplicates will not be tempted to take any critters to those locations. Still gonna keep farming the shine bugs because I still do need to clean this room out. Uh, or rather, I guess, clean the germs from the air. So yeah, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna go through and disable all these buildings. I know this isn't technically the exact cycle that you would need to stop doing this at. Um, you could probably squeeze out a couple more cycles here and there, but there is a, just a hard limit where any egg that you have right now will not be able to turn into a critter, then an adult, lay another egg, and turn that into meat in time. So it's not quite, it's probably more like cycle 84 or something, but this is close enough. I'm just going to go through and disable all these buildings here really quickly. Let me make sure I got all of them. I think we did, except for the one that we want to keep, so... There you go. All right. So they're all disabled. Now if I get any more critters, they just need to be turned into food. And we are just barely scraping by. I have not looked at how much we have eaten so far. So let's see how close we are to the achievement. We can also do potentially like a daily update here. This is still not very close. Um, I still do think we're going to make it though. Um, if we need to do some wild stuff by the end of this, then uh, we'll call it good. But I think what I might do is I might just run it from here and provide little uh, progress updates. Um, I'm also debating whether to uh, show like a sped up version of what the micro looks like uh, at this stage of the game. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, let's just transition into that really quickly and I'll just like play on super speed here. So. I'll put chapters down if super speed is not your thing and it's too hard to watch, and I understand if it is. Um, but for the people that do want to see what kind of effort goes into this, let me do like a full cycle worth of micro. Um, just to show how long it takes to do this part of the game, uh, just to keep everything going the way that we need it to. So, yeah, I'll just kind of transition into that.
Okay. There is one day's worth of micro for ya. Uh, pretty long block, but uh, in real time I'm looking at this and this is like a 12 minute segment for one day. We have a lot more days to go to make this happen, but that's effectively the effort that you need to put in to keep this going, or at least the, the way that I'm doing it. There's probably a slightly more efficient way to do it in terms of like microing it, but that's kind of the rhythm that I've settled into by this point, is just checking eggs, keeping a farmer nearby to uh, keep it lullabied as much as we can, and then cycle the eggs back and forth between the different types that could be in there. Lots and lots to do. Let's see, at the beginning of the day, I think we're at like 51,000 calories eaten. Let's see where we sit now. 55, so not much that day, but we also do have a lot more meat building up, and we will start getting onto the first day of our hatches uh, just being directly eaten instead of uh, put back into those rooms. So I don't know if we're going to make it, but we're in the home stretch here of Carnivore. So I'll just kind of keep up at it. Uh, might be a little bit of a wider block here, but I'll check in uh, each day to kind of keep uh, tabs on where we're at. Okay, morning of cycle 90 progress update. Let's see where we stand. The amount of calories that we still need to eat is behind schedule right now, just barely. Um, what's interesting is this does count day 100. It says before the 100th cycle, but it seems like it still counts day 100 because our cycle counter is at 90 and it still says we have 11 days left. So counting today, and uh, cycle 100, that would be 11. So interesting that we're just barely on pace. And the only way we're going to keep this pace is if we eat 100% uh, barbecue for the rest of the uh, time up until cycle 100. So we are really skirting in there at the very end. Um, what I don't want to do, and I did mention this earlier, is I don't want to have to go through and kill all my critters. Um, the reason why is because... I won't have a way to make food after that, and that is going to be a problem if I'm back on mush bars and stuff, because we only have this much water left for mush bars, and I don't want to put my colony at that kind of risk. So there's a couple things we could do. Um, one, we could take another duplicate the next time this goes off, which will be very soon. Or, a uh, suggestion I've gotten from a lot of people is... We could intentionally trigger a stress reaction at the very last minute to just shove a bunch of barbecue into some duplicates and call it good. So I think I'm going to do that because that sounds really funny. Uh, so if we do get in that position, I think that's what we're going to do. All of my production for sage hatch eggs and regular hatch eggs has fully kicked in. Um, so I think we are going to be drowning in barbecue here pretty soon. It'll just be a matter of our duplicates eating enough of it before we get there. So I'm keeping this pause, by the way, because I still need to micro this quite a bit to make sure that we get there. Um, but we are almost in the clear, and worst case scenario, our binge eaters are going to have a bad day and then solve all of our problems by eating all of our food. So we'll see if we get there. Uh, a couple other updates that were happening in the meantime... By the way, I hope you were into that montage thing that was right before this. It was kind of just an experiment, considering there's going to be so many things going on and not a whole lot to show. So, anyway. 
heat. Uh, let's talk about that. Uh, the heat creep is still happening, but I have managed to sneak in insulated tiles almost entirely around the starter biome here. We're getting ready to hunker down for those 300 cycles in our starter biome, uh, but we do need to make sure to keep as much heat out of here as possible just for the sake of our mealwood right now. There's not anything else that's under a tremendous amount of stress, but I also don't want to introduce heat if we don't have to because that's when things start to spiral. Um, and I don't want to have to get into a situation where I'm like bailing myself out at the last minute. So the heat creep, I think we have dealt with. Um, we just need to finish up the rest of the walls around here. What's really funny about this is when I was uh, finishing up these walls, I just noticed there's a little pocket of sand that spawned inside the granite um, on the side of the base that I am. I just never noticed it. So we could have gone up here and mined this sand any time, but uh, I don't know. It's not that big a deal. Also, bringing the warm sand may have warmed up enough to start putting some of my mealwood under threat. So I guess it's maybe good that we didn't see that, but kind of funny that we've been struggling with it for so long. So yeah, uh, definitely got that part going. Uh, I'm just going to finish up putting up these tiles and then we are going to get the rest of this barbecue out. Uh, there were a couple other things that I did want to mention. Uh, I am going to be cooking all of my uh, meal lice into pickled meals. And the reason I'm going to be doing that is just in case we have to get desperate and kill off all of our critters, we'll at least have a bank of food uh, back here. And the pickled meal doesn't give you any extra calories. It just makes it last longer by preserving it. So that's the reason that I'm doing it for that, just so that we have a longer food store for a little bit uh, longer after this, just in case things kind of start to go sideways. So a little bit of an insurance policy there. So yeah, um, you've seen the montage, you've seen everything else, you know our progress. I'll just kind of check in every few cycles after this. We'll see how close we're getting and we'll eventually either get the achievement or we will shove a bunch of food into a couple duplicates and we'll call that uh, accomplished. So we'll see what happens, but uh, I'm just going to kind of keep plugging along here. There's not really a whole lot else to do. So a little bit shorter updates here for the next little bit until we finally do this or we lose for some reason. So here we go. All right, cycle 92, getting close. Let's see what kind of progress we've made on the achievement, which is here. And yeah, we're just a little bit over halfway, but we are still slightly behind schedule compared to how many cycles are remaining. We need to eat about 180,000 calories with a little bit more to spare, and we can just barely do that in nine days. So I do think we're going to have to store up a bit and uh, get some duplicates upset and have them kind of chug some uh, barbecue down. So we will definitely do that. One thing that I wanted to mention is I did find a little more efficient micro cycle uh, with this. So if you wait until they're at about 90% of the way of hugging an egg, you can start up the next one. So both of them are only powered for a second. And then this duplicate should be attracted to do this right away. Oh, that one was like already there. So let's wire up this one real quick so that by the time they're done with their animation, they should be able to run over to the next one and then you can disconnect the previous one. It does use slightly more power, but it does actually go faster. So. I could probably run maybe 12 incubators like this while cycling between three different egg types pretty much constantly. So effectively you have about 30 incubators running this way if you were to never reload them the way that I'm doing right now. So pretty effective I have to say. Um, but it is like after doing this so many times you kind of start to learn these little optimizations that you can make that wind up making a pretty big difference. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that, but we'll keep going. And I think in a couple more cycles is when we'll start making those duplicates upset. But we do need a, basically, deposit of barbecue here so that we can kind of choke it all down all at once. So, we'll get there. Okay, friends. The bell tolls. We are at cycle 99. Let's check our progress here. We still have 50,000 calories to eat today, so our duplicates are going to have to eat a lot of meat today. 
Also, I know that it says uh, I have two cycles remaining, so technically I have two more days. But it says before the hundredth cycle, so I'm just gonna do it before the hundredth cycle. Uh, so let's let's get going. Um, we need to do a few things here. This is gonna be an interesting day. Uh, there's no reason for me to really hug eggs anymore from this point. I also do need to make sure to not blow my budget and get rid of all my food because I still need to be able to make food after this point. So what I think I'm going to do... Let me get this egg out of here. Uh, even though that's not very important right now. What I think I'm going to do is I've been having a hard time keeping these hatches fed. Um, they have not had a lot of access to dirt and stuff like that. So I'm just going to pick one of these two rooms and just kill all the hatches in it. We'll replace it with some of the baby hatches that we get out of these eggs in the next little bit. Um, because I, do, I stu, still do need to keep this rolling. Uh, keep in mind, we cannot leave our starter biome until cycle 300, which means we still need to be sustainable in this little space up until then. And one of the ways we're going to do that is by taking advantage of these hatches uh, giving us meat. So... We will need to find a way to do that without running out of resources. So I do need to be a little bit careful about this, but we are not going to make it unless we kill off a bunch of hatches here. We do have a few eggs that are just about to hatch, and we have some critters up here that will help us out. Um, we could start doing all the nerdy math, but I'm just going to kill everything in this room. Um, and that will turn it all into meat. And then I need to sh uh, stick my binge eaters in here and make them have a stress reaction. Fortunately, Turner is already pretty high in terms of stress, so he should get stressed out fairly quickly. We can do a couple things to make it worse for them, which might be kind of funny. Um, I could just drop some water in here to make them upset, so we're going to do a couple things just to kind of troll them a little bit. So our binge eaters, let's kind of cycle through everybody and see who they are. So we know it's Turner because he has already eaten plenty of... Uh, food for his fair share. Let's see. I just need to go into their bio. Yeah, binge eater. So Turner is going to be stuck in this room. Um, oh, Bubbles actually can't even go in there. That's funny. Uh, okay, so Turner, we need to make sure cannot leave through these two doors. We also need to grab, I'm pretty sure it was the original Bubbles that is a binge eater, but let me check everybody else. No, nope, he's a vomiter. That's the exact opposite of what we want. Uh, where is it? Why do I not see it? Oh, binge eater. Here you go. Why is it not? Sometimes their sorting doesn't make sense. Why would you sort it up there? All right. Uh, so yeah, bubbles. We need to make sure to trap in here as well. So let's go ahead and mark her as somebody that cannot move. That's the wrong one. There we go. Let's see if anybody else is that we could get in here, uh, just to have them all have a stress reaction at the last minute. And keep in mind, we do need to make sure that they uh, can recover after this too. Okay, Ugly Crier, that's not somebody that does it. Doubles is a binge eater. Okay, cool. Really takes after the namesake. There we go. Got three of them trapped in here. Let's see, who else do we need? Oh, I just need to keep going down the list. Let's see, you are a binge eater as well. So I think we should have enough, but just to be sure, let's trap another one in here. And this was Rowan. So let's make sure to stick him in here as well. So if we can just manage to stress all these duplicates out, and if we can kill the rest of these hatches, we should get enough meat and barbecue into this room to then just like speed run this achievement really quickly the rest of the way. So let's get going. Let's also think about ways to stress them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, build... Oh, we don't have water flowing here anymore. That's kind of funny. We could just build a place to drop some water on the ground here. Is there still polluted water here? Yes, there is still some. So let me do this. Let me move this here. If we do that then uh, we can just empty it on the floor, and that'll create a problem for them that will make them very wet. Um, they do not like that, so that will raise their stress here pretty quickly. Let's wait until everybody gets to the place they're supposed to go, and we'll start trapping our duplicates in here as soon as we get a second. 
The other thing, I don't know if we could trigger this early enough, but if they have nothing to do, like if their schedule is just all downtime, that will stress them out as well. Uh, but there's probably a couple other things we could do. Okay, here's enough polluted water. This should be fine. Let me cancel this. So I click through all the morbs. So if we do that, we should be able to empty it on the ground. There we go. And then if they're in here... Oh, I need to make sure that they stay in this area. But as long as they're wet, that should be enough. Um, this should also make them cold. Um, they will not be able to use the bathroom while they're in here. So this should uh, do the trick, I think. Oh, they're not even allowed in. What am I doing? We need to allow them in, but not out. So let's do this for each of them. There. You get in there. All right, she just has to stand there. Let's take a look at her status effects here. Yeah, cold air, soggy feet, lots of stuff going on here. Unfortunately, they will have pleasant chit-chats with each other that makes them a little more happy, so... Yeah, why are you... why are you happily talking? So we've got a little ways to go. We're just gonna have the cooks go ahead and cook as much as they possibly can. Who else needs to come in here? I don't remember everybody that was marked. Uh, Turner, where are you? Get in here. Make him walk through it. There we go. Get all those negative buffs. Yeah, soggy feet. Oh, he's also unrested. That's funny. Alright, who else do we need to grab? Let's grab... Let's see. Doubles and Rowan are the other two that we need to put in here. Get in there. And Rowan, where are you? I don't know if we're actually going to get Rowan all the way up by then, but this tends to spiral pretty fast once they start having some problems. So if they have like a full bladder uh, and a bunch of other issues, then it should get there pretty quick. We do have a lot of our meat flowing in here because all of the hatches have been killed. So this should be getting turned into barbecue. And we should have enough here, so it looks like some of them are already eating right now. Which we can just get some live progress updates. Uh, let's like... I guess it doesn't count until they're done? That's interesting. Because that number was exactly the same as when we first started, but I just saw. It says right here he's eating the barbecue. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Let's see where we're at now. They're 353, getting kind of close, but we can we can kind of just micro these and just make sure that they get their feet wet every once in a while. I'll just do this for a minute and uh, get them as upset as possible. Then when we start having some stress reactions, we can see this number fly up. So uh, I'll be busy doing that for just a little bit, and we'll come back and we'll finish this off here in just a sec. All right, Turner. Chug, chug, chug. Eat all the barbecue. Yes. We're trying to get all this barbecue eaten, and we should be getting very, very close. We probably didn't need to trap all four of these duplicates in here, so I think I'm going to let a couple of them out so that this isn't really going out of control here. Who's the lowest? Looks like Rowan is down there, and Doubles is down there. Okay, you two can leave. Thank you. Going to be our original two problem causers, Bubbles and Turner gonna be in there uh, messing things up for us. So let's see where we're at right now and if it's properly updating. So here we go. Colony summary. 364. Looks like we still have a little ways to go. This is counting very strangely. Um, I just barely uh, had a cycle where everybody ate. Is Turner done? No. I don't know why he's not eating anymore. Okay, there we go. All right, so we are going to hit cycle 100 and get there. We're about to get the, uh, yay, celebration. About to hit cycle 100. And we're also going to see if this counter is not right, because uh, that would be kind of funny. But somebody did leave a comment earlier saying that you can actually get it on cycle 100. So we're really cutting it close here. And we're just going to prove out that comment. And if not, then, uh, yeah, something, something bad's going to happen. Here's our achievement for living to cycle 100, so there we go. Did the carnival one get cancelled? No. Okay, so we should be good. We just need one more day 
of these stress reactions and the amount of barbecue that we have sitting around right now ought to be very close to uh, getting this achievement. We just need bubbles to have a stress reaction and I think we're going to be good. <laughs> These duplicates are so stressed out. Okay, Turner, you can leave. You did your job. Goodbye. All right, Bubbles, it's all up to you. Bubbles is the only hope that we have now. Hurry up and get stressed out so that we have this problem. It's also 25 a cycle. This is not quite enough. Why is her morale so high is what I want to know. Because she's just been sitting in the corner this whole time. Oh, I guess the barbecue's making her happy. Okay, here, let's do this. Uh, Bubbles, you need more jobs that you can't do, and we will scrub these from you eventually. You need to take all of those so that you have terrible morale. There. How do you like that? Yeah, 100 per cycle! Ha 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 ha! We will make Bubbles upset so that she eats food for us. It's a diabolical plan. All right, we have 11,000 calories of barbecue right now. I may need to kill a couple pips or something like that to get this up here. We're at 383, so we need 7,000 more. Um, where... This, the thing with these hatches that's kind of a problem, and the reason I probably shouldn't have done what I did, is the hatches will just eat the meat if they happen to drop it and your duplicates don't get to it first. So I probably just wasted a lot by doing that. Probably should have planned on killing the pips the whole time. So let's kill a few more. Uh, here's a couple. I think we're going to need maybe five or six more. So let's do this. There. Now I need my duplicates to just go on a killing spree, bring the meat back. Bubbles needs to have the stress reaction. And then we're going to be done. Sorry, this video's taken a long time, but this is what we've been building up to all yesterday afternoon. So we got to get this if it means it's the last thing that we do. Also, uh, if Bubbles eats the raw meat, I don't really care that much. Uh, it would be nice to cook in a barbecue to get that little bit extra. Looks like our duplicates are coming to help out with this too. We do need someone to supply this refrigerator, so I'm going to set this up pretty high for right now. Bubbles is getting there. Super low morale. 50% a cycle. Wow, that is a lot. <laughs> this is some sort of revenge for Bubbles uh, causing so much stress for us earlier, but Bubbles is about to be a hero for us in just a minute as soon as this stress reaction happens. Let me just actually fast forward up until Bubbles actually has the stress reaction, just so we're not sitting here for too much longer, and then we'll get this finished. All right, go Bubbles, go! Go Bubbles, go! Psycho 100 is about to end, and we are about to get this achievement. This is about as tight as we could possibly get it. But here we go. Bubbles is our only hope to getting this. And she is chugging barbecue as fast as her little mouth and hands will allow. Anybody else want to eat early to help us out a little bit? No? Yes? Oh, maybe? Come on, someone grab food. Doubles? You? No. Why? Come on, someone help. Time's almost up. This is going to be over in literally like a quarter of a cycle. Come on, eat more, eat more. Hurry up. Eat all the food. <laughs> Are we actually going to make this? This is actually getting kind of scary. Because if this rolls over to cycle 101, we lose. And we have to start all over because Bubbles is eating too slowly. Which is so poetically correct after everything we've been through so far. Where are we at? What's going on? 399,000 out of 400,000. Come on! Bubbles! Chew the barbecue! Okay? Eat some of the pee water with it if you need to hurry it up. Come on! Yes! Yes! We are carnivores today. We have done it. We are victorious! I can't believe that actually came so close. That was not planned. Bubbles, I would let you out right now, but... Actually, no, you did your job. Okay, we'll let you out. Okay. There we go. Yes, we did it! We finally got there. We did the maybe the hardest achievement in the game. At least I think it's the hardest achievement in the game. 
But what a total disaster that was. We just barely edged that out with less than a cycle to spare. All right, I think I need to call it here. We're gonna need to do some rebuilding a little bit. We do at least have some uh, food reserves, so. The next video, we're just really gonna be trying to rebuild our food reserves and kind of painting the picture of what it's gonna look like to live in this biome for the next 200 cycles, which is one of our rules. So, I don't, I mean, I just picked that number kind of arbitrarily. I have no idea how that's gonna work. I have not tried this before, so. We are now in totally uncharted waters from this point. Uh, so yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope that was entertaining enough. That was fun. I'm glad we got there and didn't lose. But uh, there's also many other ways we could lose going forward, because if any one of these duplicants dies, then we are done for. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.